Karate triangle. Karate triangle, again, it is located between sternocleidomastoid muscle, okay, superior pillow of omohyoid, and posterior pillow of digastric. So this is the carotid triangle. Contents of carotid triangle is mainly you have carotid sheath. Carotid sheath extend if you go to the base of the skull, you have jugular foramen, carotid foramen, carotid, jugular, hypoglossal foramen. You will see that internal carotid artery with which I send through neck until it reaches to the carotid foramen and through there go to carotid canal then cranial cavity okay this is the common carotid artery external carotid internal carotid artery and then you have behind the hair jugular foramen and here this is internal jugular vein internal jugular vein which descend and they consider the posterior part of the internal jugular of jugular foramen and it is descending under cover of sternocleidomastoid until it reaches to this supraclavicular space between the sternal head this external head of sternocleidomastoid and the clavicular head of sternocleidomastoid. This is the internal jugular vein. Okay. Then you have anterior to the internal jugular vein, you have glossopharyngeal nerve, you have vagus, you have accessory. Glossopharyngeal nerve descend through the carotid sheath, then go anteriorly. To reach to the tongue, the posterior part of the tongue, deep to hyoglossus muscle, deep to the hyoglossus muscle. So keep in mind that this is a tongue, and here is the hyoglossus muscle, and actually, glossopharyngeal nerve is deep to the hyoglossus muscle, deep to hyoglossus muscle. So this is glossopharyngeal nerve. Okay. Then you have number 10, which is the vagus nerve. It descends through carotid sheath through the whole length until it reaches to the thorax. Until it reaches to thorax. So this is vagus. This is number 9. This is number 10. The most posterior nerve is the spinal accessory nerve, which descends deep to the posterior bulb of the gastric zen superficial here to the internal jugular vein penetrating sternocleidomastoid muscle and you go to the posterior triangle this is number 11 number 12 which is hypoglossal nerve medial to all of that and descend again deep to the posterior below of the gastric and cross the carotid sheath and go again deep to the posterior below of the gastric ascend superficial to the hyoglossus muscle deep to myelohyoid until it reach to the all muscles of the tongue this is the hypoglossal nerve hypoglossal nerve is number 12 okay so basically if you go up here to the base of the skull, carotid sheath is a fascia which surround these structures or this foramina and including all these structures at the base of the skull. And if you go down here, it include common carotid artery also until it reaches to the chest where it contains with the aortic arch. Okay, 
So this is the carotid sheath. So carotid sheath, if I ask you, what is the content of carotid sheath? The carotid sheath at the base of the skull contain internal jugular vein, intern, sorry, internal jugular vein, internal carotid artery, and the last four cranial nerves, number 10, 11, and 12. Then in carotid triangle, in this triangle, you will see that the only nerve which continues through the whole sheath is vagus nerve, number 10. Okay, medial to that is going to be internal carotid artery, lateral internal jugular vein, and then down here, common carotid artery. So, the contents of carotid sheath you will see common carotid artery in the lower part, internal carotid artery, internal jugular, and the vagus in between. When you go to the base of the skull, you can add other three cranial nerves, which are 9, 11, and 12. Okay. Okay, so those are the structures inside carotid sheath. Keep in mind that you have here carotid sinus and the carotid body. In this area, you have carotid sinus and the carotid body, which are part of the carotid system. Carotid sinus responsible for paros contain paroreceptors, carotid sinus, and the carotid body. The sinus is paroreceptors controlling blood pressure. Okay, body chemoreceptors sensitive to low oxygen tension. They are supplied by glossopharyngeal nerve. Glossopharyngeal nerve carrying sensation or the change in the level of oxygen or the change in the pressure and take it back to the brain stem in nucleus solitarius. Okay, so this is a carotid triangle. If I ask you, what are the contents? Carotid sheath, in addition to external carotid artery, and the carotid artery give multiple branches here, including superior thyroid artery, lingual artery, facial artery, and posterior auricular artery is not part of it because posterior auricular artery is coming from external carotid above, here, here is the external carotid artery, giving here outside carotid triangle posterior auricular. However, occipital artery going posterior like this is going to be inside the carotid triangle. If I ask you what are branches of external carotid artery inside carotid triangle, superior thyroid artery, you have lingual artery, you have facial artery, and you have occipital artery. Thank you.